shadows of the morning are crawling on my floor. When I just want to lie here, nothing less, nothing more. There's raindrops on my window, and I'm going nowhere fast. Behind these closed eyes, I visualize what will come and what is past. But Mama, turn the light on. Mama, stir me from my sleep. I've been sleeping too long. I've been dreaming too long. I just want to lie here. But I don't want to die here. So I'm going to take my best shot. Shout out of bed into the tip top. Sitting on the edge of my bed. Waiting by the river. Waiting by the river. I found a little piece of homestead. Shout out a bed cause I got something to prove So when I say Mama turn the light on Understand just what I mean When I'm asleep I will dream And when I wake you will see That even as I lie here Thinking where I'll be in five years I know today is all I ever got I know today will be my best shot Sitting on the edge of my bed a homestead I just got back Ugh. hello welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel right now I just got in my car after clinical and I had such a good day today that I'm treating myself with some Sonic, which I just ordered on the app. Today, I am taking you guys on my clinical routine, both the night before, the morning of, and the night after. So right now it is four o'clock and I get to leave clinical now and pick up some food because we have post-conference until 6.30 tonight when I get home. But luckily I do live close enough to be able to have time to stop for Sonic. I had a really good day today. If you haven't seen my most recent videos, I've been on the cardiac floor this semester. So I've just been seeing cardiac patients and the past few weeks I was mostly working doing like CNA type stuff. But today I did like all nursing tasks. I was giving out meds and doing stuff like that, doing assessments. And I actually had a really good time. I was also speaking Spanish with a few of my patients, which um, my family is from Mexico. My first language is English and I do not speak Spanish, but I speak enough Spanish because I've grown up around it and I'm used to hearing it around my house and around my family members. So my Spanish was good enough to really help some people today, which really felt so good that I was able to like translate for the doctors and the nurses that were helping my patients. And that just made me really happy. So that was really fun. And I just felt very fulfilled today. So I just felt like it was necessary to get Sonic. So that is what I'm doing right now. Usually after clinical, I'm like exhausted and a little sad because like it's a long day and I'm just stressed out about like all the studying that I need to do, but I can't really study on my clinical days because I'm doing clinical stuff all day. Like I don't finish my documents till very late at night. So I'm usually just like not in the very best mood, but today I am in a good mood just because I, I don't know, I'm just happy today. So we're just gonna try to maintain that. This is honestly like probably the first time I've left clinical feeling really good about myself and I'm just going to bask in that and treat myself because I deserve it and you do too. So go treat yourself today, this is your sign. I don't care what you do, but go treat yourself. And comment down below what you did for self care because I wanna know. Also, I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera because I'm driving and I need to look at the road because I really hate when people vlog and drive and they like look at their phone or their camera or whatever it is. My camera is on a mount 
so I promise I'm not holding my camera. Both hands are on the wheel and I'm driving, so anyways. All right, I just put in my order number. I pre-ordered on the app. In case you didn't know, you can get 24 hour happy hour if you order on the app. So that is what I just did. And then you just get there and you put in the stall number that you're at and they bring it to you. So that's what I'm doing right now, I'm excited. I'm gonna turn off my camera because people are watching me. <laughs> All right, so I'm leaving Sonic right now. I can't show you my stuff because it actually took them an hour to get my food because they dropped my food on accident. Is okay because I understand, but I also have post conference in 20 minutes. So I need to get home. Also, I cut my finger, so it's like bleeding everywhere. And I was trying to clean it with a paper towel, but I need to drive, so oh well. But because of the inconvenience, they did give me a token for a free medium cherry limeade or any other soft drink. So I'm not mad. Um, just in a little bit of a rush. And I also don't have time to shower now, which I always shower when I get back from the hospital. So I hate that I can't do that. But yeah, look at my finger. I like, it's not a hangnail. I like hit it on the side of the door or something. I don't know what just happened. Or maybe it is a hangnail that I accidentally tore on the door. I don't know. But that's my finger, so that sucks. I need to be home by five. It is 4.40, and I should make it. I just don't want to get stuck in any traffic. Okay, I'm at a red light, okay. So I got, this is not the right order, what? This is, mm, I ordered a medium strawberry lemonade. This looks like Coke or something. I'm a little sad because I really wanted the strawberry lemonade. And this is definitely not a strawberry lemonade. So rip. It's okay, the worker was probably having a rough day and she probably went back in and realized she gave me the wrong thing and felt really bad and I had already left. But it's okay, I should have looked when she handed it to me. I was just in a rush. So I hope she has a better day. I'm sure she's been really stressed and she needs to take some time for self-care also. So it's okay. Also, look at my poor pinky. I'm sorry if you don't like blood. I shouldn't show you that. It's okay. I'm not, it's not an L. It's still a drink. It's caffeine. I probably need some caffeine to get me through doing my care plans and maybe even studying tonight. Who knows? Oh my gosh, I just walked inside and I've literally gotten blood all over the place and on my white top and on my Sonic drink. Anyways, I have post conference in five minutes, which is sad because it means I don't have time to shower, but I'm going to start cleaning off my hand. Fingers just do not stop bleeding. All right, so we put a bandaid on it. Obviously I did a terrible job because my finger was still wet, but what are you gonna do? Okay, so what we're doing now is getting out my laptop to get on the Zoom call, which starts in literally one minute. Basically during our post conference, we just talk about the day, our instructor gives us some critiques and advice and lets us know what kind of homework and tasks and stuff she wants us to do tonight. So yeah, but she's really cool. I really like her, so I'm happy about it. Okay, so I just got off post-conference. Um, this is my to-do list for the night. Luckily, she gave us a lot of easier stuff to do today. So I only have to do those four forms um, and I always do them all tonight. They give us 48 hours to do them. I like to just do it all on my clinical day. That way I don't have to think about clinical at all tomorrow. So that is what I'm going to be doing tonight. I also want to take a quick second to thank today's video partner. My very first partner ever um, is Tane Eyewear. It's T-I-J-N Eyewear. I'm wearing right now these glasses, which they gifted to me, and they also sent me some sunglasses, which I'm going to show y'all. So they came in this little brown case, and I got this one pair of blue light glasses, which I've never worn before. So I'm actually kind of excited. I wore them for the first time during that Zoom meeting and they are super cute and I love them. And then I got this pair of sunglasses, which I decided to do something a little different because I usually wear like really dark Ray-Bans. Um, but these are these like orangey color, which I thought would be fun for days like that I wanna be more brightly colored. I really like them, I think they're so cute. These are called Crystal Peach. I think that they're so cute and I love these. And these are called the Esther Blue Light Filter 
glasses. So they're called Esther. They are in dark green, which I got because I have like greenish colored eyes. So I thought that they would make my eyes show better. I don't know if it worked or not. Let me know if you like them or not. Thank you, Tane Eyewear, for sending me these really cute glasses. And I will link both of these glasses down below if you guys want to check them out as well. So right now I'm going to wipe down all of my equipment, which is in a pile on the floor right now. And I'm going to jump in the shower so that I can be clean and hospital free before I start working on my forms. Okay, so I have some alcohol wipes to clean down my equipment, but I wanted to show you guys everything that I take with me to clinical. So the first thing I take is my pink Litman stethoscope. This is a Litman Classic three. I did get it engraved so it has my name on the inside. So it has my name and I added those little stars because I thought they were fun and cute. I use this stethoscope for obviously everything. You don't usually have multiple stethoscopes lying around but I love this stethoscope. It was very pricey I will say but honestly getting a good stethoscope really helps because I do all of my assessments and I get graded on what I hear based on this stethoscope. So I highly recommend this. I'm linking everything that I'm talking about down below as well as all my other school supplies so that you guys can see if you're looking to buy stuff for nursing school, everything that I use. This is my white coat, which y'all have seen before. Nothing too crazy about it. But in my white coat pockets, I have a little emergency bag. This is not linked below. My boyfriend's aunt made this for me. Basically, I just keep feminine products in there. I keep some Benadryl in here as well as some ibuprofen in case I need it while I'm on the floor. And then I also put some cash in here if I need some cash for something in the vending machine or the cafeteria or anything like that. But I keep it all in this little pouch so that it's easy to hold on to. And then she also put this little clip on here. So sometimes I clip it to something if I don't have a big pocket ready for me. Honestly, so worth it. You don't want to deal with your own emergencies while you're dealing with patients emergencies this is my lunch box it is just a fulton bag i got this at target a couple years ago inside here i keep literally my lunch here's some of the gatorade and the yogurt that i didn't eat still in here and then my sandwich holder um, this is the mask that I wore into the hospital. Whenever we get there, we change into a surgical mask. So I only wear this when I'm walking from my car into the hospital. And then I also keep a pair of goggles in here, which is actually just up here just to keep it clean. Um, we're required to have goggles with us just because of liability. If we go into any infectious rooms, we have to wear our goggles. I really haven't used them. Um, they really only types of infectious areas I've been in are like MRSA patients. So we don't really need goggles for something like that, but in case we bump into like a COVID situation or something like that, which is not intentional, um, we're not supposed to see those patients, but if for whatever reason we end up having to see one, we do have our goggles there. So I keep those with me in the staff room, but I don't really ever use them. The other thing I have, and I'm gonna remove my paperwork so that y'all don't see all of it, but it's this foldable clipboard and honestly it is a huge lifesaver if you're gonna buy anything do buy this it is not required for most programs to have one but i promise you this is a required thing to have so it is just a foldable clipboard nothing crazy um it does have a little cheat sheet inside of it this is just a sticker so you can put the cheat sheet on the outside i keep it on the inside because i end up flipping through everything so it's just whatever, I keep it on the inside. I highly recommend this because it folds and it fits perfectly in your scrub pocket so that you don't have to like set it down in a patient room and forget about it or like leave it at the nurse's station or anything like that. Um, I don't lose it because it's always with me and I'm seriously obsessed with it. And it's also nice to have this little cheat sheet, especially when I'm on cardiac, it has like normal sounds. It gives you normal lab values, temperature conversions, which is kind of nice because Honestly, converting Celsius and Fahrenheit in my head is just a lot when you're in the middle of a patient's room and you're just trying to quickly write down vitals. It also has all of the injection sites on there in case you ever need to look at those, pupil sizes, just a bunch of cheat sheet information that is really helpful to have while you're in the middle of clinical because yes, using your brain is very important, but sometimes when you're under pressure and you need a quick response, it is really nice to have that. In my scrub pockets, I also carry some pen lights, which are right here. I have a regular people size on here, and they're just very important to have. Also, people lose these and they break, so I recommend at least having two with you. And then I keep my pen with me because I'm always writing notes or 
documenting something so I always have a pen but I keep the same pen every time I do clean it but it's just better just to keep one pen on you so that is all that I actually take with me into clinical I don't take a backpack or anything but I know you guys wanted to see that too so let me show you all that real quick so this is the bag that I use for like everything for nursing school I am seriously obsessed with it because it's like the kind that opens and stays open so I can fit like all of my equipment in here and it's like a Mary Poppins bag it's so great um, it is made by bag smart it's linked down below I got this on Amazon and when I took this to school people were like oh my gosh that's so cute and then they ordered one for themselves so I love it it's also that material I don't know if you can tell but like it's like waterproof so like if you get any bodily fluids on it it's easy to clean off which is really nice um, it also has a ton of pockets on the inside so this flap holds your laptop and then it has little pockets down there which has hand sanitizer in it right now um, and it also has like my chargers and stuff and then in this front pocket I have a pencil case um, I have another badge clip in case like mine breaks or something I have my chargers for my iPad my phone and my laptop and then in this front pocket right here I also just keep feminine hygiene products and stuff like that because you can never not have a bag filled with those and then it has a water bottle thing on both sides of the bag so you need water to stay hydrated all day and then I keep this bin just in my room ready to go because sometimes I need different equipment each day and I put it in here whenever I get home and put it in my backpack whenever I'm going to class so in here I have my stethoscope case this is where I keep my stethoscope when I'm not taking it to lab um, the stethoscope pocket is right here and then my pen lights go here I have my bandage scissors and a surgical cap I've never worn it but it has A&M on it so if I ever do wear it, it'd be kind of fun just because I have UT and A&M I don't know but this is also linked down below and then on the side right here I clipped my pulse ox I got a pink one because I thought it would be fun so everything I have is pink all of this is linked down below and then I also have my pink blood pressure cuff you do have to take manual blood pressures in nursing school which is very difficult sometimes but this is my blood pressure cuff it has instructions in here as well and a little lanyard clip if you need to carry it on you which I never use I just carry it if I ever need to use it but it's manual has this already on here has your pump all the things so here's my blood pressure cuff also pink because I'm obnoxious like that and lastly in here I have an extra pair of goggles just in case I need an extra pair of goggles this is the watch that I wear for all clinical it is a Casio watch from Amazon pretty much every nursing student has this exact same watch in one color or another but it's waterproof it's really cheap and you need to have a second hand on your watch so that is why I use this one just for clinical then I switch it out to a different watch whenever I'm just laying around also some questions that I've been getting asked are my favorite types of clinical shoes I just wear chunky white filas. I also just clean these, don't worry. But they're just white chunky filas, nothing crazy. They're not like a nursing school brand. A lot of people buy expensive shoes like cloves. For me, we had to wear all white or all black and I decided to get some chunky filas. So there's nothing crazy about them. They're also linked down below. They were pretty cheap on Amazon. So that is why I picked those. And another nursing school must have is compression socks. I don't care what kind you get. I also linked some down below that I have, but today I'm wearing these pink ones that Kyle got me for Valentine's Day. They just have pink and white stripes and they go up to here. These will literally make or break your clinical experience. I wore normal socks last week and Kyle had to rub my feet for the rest of the night because they hurt so freaking bad. And they started hurting at like 8 a.m. These are also memory foam shoes. Like they're not bad shoes at all and my feet were still aching. So get yourself some compression socks and some memory foam shoes, maybe some insoles, get some good shoes, you will thank yourself. <laughs> and then for a badge reel, I got these little flowered ones. It came in a pack of three with a pink flower, a blue flower, and a purple flower. And then Kyle last week got me this little stitch one. So that is the one that I wore today. Um, get yourself a cute badge reel because you will need one. You have to have your badge literally everywhere you go. You cannot go into the hospital without your badge. You cannot go anywhere without your badge. So make sure to get a badge reel so that you're not losing your badge. Another thing I didn't mention is undershirts. These are my little white undershirts. I wear these under all of my scrubs 
or I'll wear a cropped black tank top if I don't want it to be sleeves. I do this because obviously this is very low cut. My scrubs just fit me kind of big because they're made for men. This is an extra small top, so if you're about my build, your top is probably going to be big on you if you have the same uniform brand that my school does. So I always wear an undershirt, otherwise I would be showing a little bit more than I'm comfortable showing at clinical. So my shirts are linked down below. These things are also great for when it's cold because we're not supposed to wear our white coat with patients. They get confused on who the like actual licensed provider is and who the students are. So we don't wear our white coats. The only way I keep warm is by my undershirts. So you guys can check this link out down below. It came in like a pack of three or something like that. So that is all of my like major nursing school equipment. I know a few of you have been asking me about that on some of my old videos. So I thought you guys would like to see it. Once again, everything that I use is linked down below, so feel free to check out that list so that when you're buying your stuff for nursing school, you can just get it all at once. You were the laughter early in the morning. All right, so I just showered and I put on my pajama pants and a t-shirt and I'm getting ready to type up all my documents, which is a pretty fat stack. I don't wanna show you what I wrote, but it's a lot of papers so basically i take all my notes on paper before i leave the hospital because we can't take any identifying information home but we can take things like lab values and like vital signs and diagnoses and things like that so we put all of those type them up and then submit them to our clinical instructor and we also have to type up an evaluation of ourselves and send that to our clinical instructor to see if they agree with that evaluation and then we get our clinical scores. So that is what I'm typing up right now. This usually takes me sometimes like four hours depending on how much I get done at the hospital. Usually I end up having to Google search and research a lot of medications and diagnoses. Luckily this time I was able to get a lot of information on medications and basically my patient's whole situation while I was in the hospital. So it'll be a lot less work tonight hopefully but it is currently 8 30 and i'm gonna start this and hopefully i can get it done pretty quickly because i'm always exhausted at this time of night down in the kitchen watching tv you were the music that led me to the six string and now it's been so long since i've heard you sing I looked up to you, brother Even when you lost your way In the madness of I just finished everything that I need to get done for clinical All of my forms, which are right here It is 11.15pm, which is usually about the time that I finish doing everything anyways and now I am about to wrap up my night and get ready for bed because I am stinking tired. So I'm going to do my dishes and make sure that everything is put away so I can go to sleep and move on to study something else for nursing school tomorrow. New York City. Oh, you found her and now I know there's hope for me. is it for my clinical night before morning and night routine it is currently 11 46 p.m and i'm literally falling asleep as i sit here so i'm going to bed but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below it helps me out so so much and be sure to comment some purple heart emojis if you watch this whole video because you guys are rock stars and i hope you have an awesome week bye the story of how you met each other Manhattan for coffee, first stop as to place Five years later, you walk into the altar And now she's gonna share our family